I feel so cold as I look at the reflected colors on the water moving back and forth. It is so peaceful listening to the winter sounds bouncing around me. It seems like I have been sitting here for hours. The memory of how I got here escapes me. I notice that the sun is setting. It is time to be going. My children must be missing me because I should already be home with them. My family must be worried. As I try to leave, it feels like I am chained to the river. Why can't I leave? I don't see anything tied to me. As I look around, I see something floating close. I go to investigate and touch it, but it does not move until a wave comes and slowly turns it. As if in slow motion, the long black hair starts to move back to reveal a face. My focus goes to the mouth. Even though they are wet, the lips are purple and cracked and stiff. I recognize the face. It's mine. How could I be in the cold water upside down when I am standing here? Then, like a movie, a memory flashes before me. The quietness of stale winter fills with my scream. I scream and scream until I can't anymore. I fall to my knees feeling the hard frozen ground beneath me. I'm breathing so hard but can't see steam rising from my mouth. I do it again several times thinking that I might not be breathing correctly. Questions quickly overtake my thoughts. What happened to me? I whisper, as though someone could hear me. I want to go home to my kids. Where are my kids? They must be hungry. Who is going to feed them or take care of them or love them? As their mother, I should be there. What has happened to me? Is there still a me? I realize that only a memory of me is here, present. As I look at the body, I wonder how I will be remembered. The thought of being dead is colder than the freezing water my body is floating in. I tear my gaze from my bone-white face and look up at the eagle spreading its wings high above. As I watch and move so gently across the sky, the cold inside me fades with the warm memories of my children. I know my family will be worrying and looking for me. I will be here, waiting for them to find me.